Hi everyone. So today I am going to talk about the intuition behind the Adam Optimizer. So when you consider uh, the Adam Optimizer, it is one of the most efficient uh, optimization algorithms in deep learning. And uh, for most people, they don't want to know uh, the mathematical aspect behind these optimizers because uh, it is somewhat difficult to understand. But they want to know the intuition behind these optimizers, like when you consider the optimizers like Adam. So if you are that kind of a person, then this video is for you. All right, so first we will talk about the stochastic gradient descent because uh, the most of the algorithms or the optimizers are a variation of the stochastic gradient descent. That means uh, the most of the algorithms uh, first started from the results from the stochastic gradient descent, then they have done a very small modification to that algorithm so that they have obtained much improved results uh, by doing that uh, a, a small modification. So first we will talk about the stochastic gradient descent. So the stochastic gradient descent is based on the gradient that means uh, first we, we have to have this ob uh, objective function. So then we are trying to minimize this objective function by taking the derivatives. So this uh, stochastic gradient descent will only consider the uh, derivatives. So that means uh, it will not consider the momentum of the objective function. So what is this momentum means? The momentum is something like, uh, let's say we have an objective function that keeps changing towards a certain direction. That means it has a very high momentum to that direction. So when you uh, try to minimize that objective function based on the stochastic gradient descent, uh, in that case it will not consider the momentum aspect uh, in that minimization. So because of that, uh, there is no point of uh, change in the learning rate because uh, sometimes if you change the learning rate so that the learning rate is small, uh, too small, that uh, in that case it is uh, too slow to converge or if we change the learning rate at a higher rate, uh, that uh, makes our optimizer uh, to diverge. So this is an example of like that. So when you consider this first diagram there, uh, we have uh, used a very small learning rate. So in that case, it will take more time uh, to reach this optimal value or the minimum value of this objective function. And if we uh, use a very large value like this, like in this uh, second example, uh, in that case, uh, it will uh, fit to diverge or even, I mean, uh, it will fit to converge or even diverge. So now we are going to talk about the stochastic gradient descent with the momentum. So the small modification that they have done in this algorithm is that they have considered the momentum uh, also uh, together with the gradient when they minimize in the objective function. So if the gradient values have the same sign, that, uh, that means there will be a momentum that is going uh, in that objective function. So if there is a high momentum, then we need to increase the learning rate uh, and if the momentum is very small, then we need to decrease the learning rate. So that is the main uh, intuition behind the stochastic gradient descent with the momentum. So this is an example of the stochastic gradient descent with a momentum and the gradient descent algorithm. So here you can see in the gradient descent algorithm, they have uh, taken much more steps than the stochastic gradient descent with the momentum algorithm uh, because uh, the gradient descent algorithm uh, uh, have not considered this uh, momentum aspect. Because of that, it will take more time to converge than the gradient descent algorithm with the momentum. All right, so now, we are going to talk about the important thing of this video, which is the intuition behind the Adam 
So it is quite similar to uh, the stochastic gradient descent with the momentum, but uh, the one more different thing that they have done is that they, it is based on the squared gradient values. So that means, yeah, it is quite similar to the gradient descent with momentum. So I am going to use these two notations. The first one is d hat, where d hat is about the average gradient and r hat is about the average square of the gradient. So the intuition behind the Adam algorithm is as follows. So if we have a small average value that, uh, sorry, if we have a large average value that uh, corresponding to a large r hat value. So if that is the case, we have to accelerate the speed or else we have to increase our learning rate. If we have a large average value, then it is impossible to have this uh, small r hat value. So we have to discard this possibility, the second possibility. And if you consider the third possibility where it is, it, uh, it talks about the small d hat values. So the small d hat value means we have uh, uh, small d hat values with uh, large r hat values. So we, are, we can have this type of a situation. If we have a, a mixed gradient values in terms of the sign of the gradient, if that is the case, that implies there is no momentum uh, for that objective function. If that is the case, we have to uh, decrease our learning rate. And the last possibility is we have a, a small d hat value and we have a small r hat value. So that means we have uh, momentum to the opposite direction. If that is the case, we have to accelerate the speed towards that direction. So based on these uh, four possible situations, what we can obtain is uh, we, we have to accelerate the proportion, uh, sorry, we have to accelerate uh, the uh, speed of this uh, optimization, which is proportional to this quantity, which is d hat divided by the square root of the r hat. So this is the main intuition behind the Adam optimizer. So if you consider this video is useful to you, uh, please put a thumbs up to my video. And if you want to see more videos like this in future, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.